Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm a human design reader, expert, and coach. And today we're going to talk about niching. If you've ever tried to start a business, if you know anyone who's tried to start a business, then you know niching is a thing, okay? So, however, niching is not necessarily right for everyone, especially depending on your energy type. It may work better for other people than, you know, you. So we're going to talk about each diff each type, each energy type, and whether they should niche or if they should keep things a little bit more broad. So if you are interested in getting a PDF that has all of this information, along with some deepening questions to help you figure out your niche or figure out what you should do instead of having a niche, go ahead and click the link in my description box to download that for free. Also, I am opening up the doors to my Simple Business Academy, which is a three-month business coaching program. After working with me, you will have a business plan, a business structure, a launch plan, a social media plan, a solid foundation to step into 2025 with your very own business, your first client, your first sale, and it also comes with a satisfaction guarantee. If you don't get your first client, or your first sale or your next client or your next sale, I will work with you until you do. So really, they're, they're, it doesn't get any better than that, really, honestly. So if you are interested in joining Simple Business Academy, all the information for that will be in the description box as well. So <clears throat> as always, let's start with the manifestors. Should manifestors, manifestors, manifestors niche down? No. Okay, and the reason for this is because having a niche for manifestors can feel very restricting because you are here to initiate, because you are here to create and you're here to inspire. It can be a little bit difficult to do that if you put yourself in a very small niche. Okay, what you want to do because you're here to, to create new things, you want your brand, you want your business to be based around you. Okay. And you want to be able to create an audience that is going to grow with you as you are growing. So the more things that you add into your business, you want an audience that's going to be able to, you know, shift and move as you do. So what I work, what I recommend for manifestors is having an umbrella. Okay. And this is pretty much a, a lot of what I do is that you work under the umbrella of blank. Right. So instead of being um, a weight loss coach, you are a fitness coach or you are a health coach. So that way you can talk about all of the things underneath health or underneath fitness. But you don't just have to talk about weight loss. You can also talk about nutrition. You can also talk about hormonal imbalances. You can also talk about, you know, exercising and all of that. <clears throat> so instead of niching yourself down to something very specific that can feel a little bit restrictive, you want to look for an umbrella. You want to open that up a little bit so you can create on all of the things that are underneath that umbrella so that you have a place to play, you have places to grow, and you can have a lot of different offers, a lot of different topics that you create things around, which is going to feel good for you and is also going to feel really good for your audience. Okay. Now, generators. Should generators niche down? Yes. Generally, I will say yes. Not all generators are the same, just like not all manifesting generators are the same. But in general, because generators are here to be masters of specific things, having a niche can work very well for generators. However, and like I said, this is the caveat. This is always going to be the caveat for generators. It has to be something that lights you up. It has to be something that feels satisfying for you. It has to be something that feels fulfilling for you. It has to be something that is pleasurable to you. If you go off and pick a random niche because you think it's going to be successful and you are not lit up by it, you are going to get burned out. It may work for a little bit, but at a certain point, you are going to hit a wall, and I'm telling you that it's not going to be fun. <laughs> it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be pretty. So you might as well just start off in a niche that you actually enjoy, okay? So generators work really well in having that specific niche, mastering that specific thing, and just doing that over and over and over and over again, okay? Now manifesting generators. 
should manifesting generators niche down now manifesting generators I put manifesting generators in the same category as manifestors. You want to be under an umbrella, right? Because you need to have, just like manifestors, you need to have the freedom to play around and have a lot of different things around a lot of different things. That sounds terrible. That doesn't make any sense. But if you look at my business, right? The umbrella that I like to put myself under is spirituality. But also I kind of have myself under the umbrella of spirituality, but also the umbrella of human design and gene keys. Because I can apply human design and gene keys to anything. You can apply it to health and fitness. You can apply it to productivity. You can apply it to business, right? You can apply it to, you know, healing and emotional intelligence. You can apply human design and gene keys to anything. So that's been really amazing for me as a manifesting generator, because if I want to talk about something, all I have to do is figure out how I can apply human design and gene keys to that thing and boom, I'm, I'm suddenly back under the umbrella of my quote unquote niche. So this gives me space and opportunity to play with a lot of different topics while still remaining true to the essence of my message, which is using human design and gene keys to create the life that you want, right? I have uh, products on manifestation and human design, business and human design, productivity and human design, healing and human design, all of these things because I have a broad enough niche, I have a broad enough umbrella that allows me to play with all of these different topics. So that's what you really want to do as a manifesting generator is have an umbrella or have a very broad niche that lets you talk about different things in different ways. Okay. Now let's move on to projectors. Should projectors niche down? Yes. Niches work very well for projectors when that niche is in your area of expertise. So if you are someone who is really good at mastering productivity systems and you're a projector, projector, that is your niche. Your niche is productivity, right? Because you've mastered these productivity systems and that's what you're able to guide people through. So whatever the system is that you've chosen to guide people through, that is your niche. Very similar to what I just said about human design, human design and gene keys. If you decide that you want to be someone who guides people using human design and gene keys, human design and gene keys is your niche. And that is your lane and you stay in that lane. Okay? You are here to help people navigate through a certain system, which makes that system your niche. And if you want, you can narrow that down even more. Like I do human design and gene keys for manifestation. I do human design and gene keys for business, right? And you can um, niche down even more using that system. But you want to make sure that whatever system it is that you are mastering and that you are helping people move through, that is your niche and you're letting yourself play in that niche, okay? And finally, we have reflectors. Should reflectors niche down? It's for reflectors, it's a little bit interesting because what you're doing is in what you're doing is giving intuitive insights based on what is happening energetically in the world, right? We talked about that a little bit in the first uh, video in this series. So, your niche. If it's broad, right, something like uh, the emotional intelligence or healing or business or, you know, politics, things like that, that can be your niche. But because the energetic landscape is always shifting and changing and because who you're talking to, your community can also be shifting and changing, it means that even if you're in a niche like business, things are constantly going to be shifting for you in that niche. So it might feel like you're not niche down because you're kind of going with what's happening energetically. So I would say yes, but have a broader niche, kind of like the umbrella example that I gave for manifestors and manifesting generators, have an umbrella niche that you talk about that you're giving your intuitive insights on, but also let things shift, right? So if you talk about spirituality, 
And, you know, for the last six months, you've been saying kind of the same thing. And then all of a sudden you feel a shift and it's like, oh, this is what's happening. This is how we need to prepare for it. That is that you're still in your niche, but you are moving with the energetic landscape. So it's almost, it's kind of like a yes and a no because you are underneath the umbrella, but things can constantly change and constantly shift for you because you're literally, you're, you're reading the uh, an energetic weather basically. Okay, so what you're doing is what's trending, what's happening now, what is this going to lead to, and how can we prepare for it? So really, the people that you're talking to, the people that you're guiding, they are your niche, right? What do they need spiritually, if that's your niche? What do they need politically? What do they need business-wise? What do they need health and fitness-wise? So yes, but it is going to be a little bit more broad and there's going to be some shifts happening because of the nature of what it is that you do. So hopefully that made sense. <laughs> um, if you are interested in the free resource that accompanies this video, go ahead and click the link, click the link in my description box. If you are interested in Simple Business Academy, all of the information will be in the description as well. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.